What if I told you that follower of Christ doesn't automatically mean Christian? Just wait, just wait, Joe. Wait. You know what? It's it's stupidity is a sign of a Muslim. Uh, and it means it's it's the flag of a Muslim. You cannot be a Muslim and you are smart. Look what he said. What if I told you that follower of Christ doesn't automatically mean Christian? Oh, just wait. This is mean your God Allah is stupid and you are the smart one because your God Allah He called everyone of us Christian. But you just told us not everyone who follow Christ as a Christian, which is a stupid of you. So if the one who follow Christ he is a Christian, he's what? He is Hindu. You see, this is a silly kid video, and they think they are smart. Let us see what the Quran says about that. Do the Quran call us all of us Christians? Actually, the God, the God of the Quran, he is confused about those who they are Christians or not, but he calls still everybody Christian. Let me show you. Is that your Quran? It says that those who they are, the Jewish, they follow the Jewish Christians, and the Jewish scriptures, and the Christian scriptures, and, and even the Sabian. You know, everybody have no worry to go. They will go to heaven. And he called us a Christians, all of us. Uh, all of them, all of them, they called them Christians. He did not call different name for us. So you just told me that we cannot be Christian automatically if we follow Jesus by faith. So we are Christian if we don't follow him by what? You see how how silly, stupid that is? And you know what? Just a little question. Then how you explain to me that somebody is born as a Muslim, he's a Muslim. Isn't it weird? Like you don't believe that somebody, he follow Christ by faith, he is a Christian. <laughs> so he's what? <laughs> And look, even your God says that those who worship Jesus, the Christians, you know, they are wrong. But he called us Christians even by worshiping Jesus. This is how stupid you are Muslims and you always make us laugh at you. I cannot find one smart Muslim to talk to me. Let us continue with the video. You believe in faith doesn't mean Jesus didn't believe in submission. Uh, just wait, just wait. I like this one. If you believe in faith doesn't mean you believe in faith. We don't believe in faith, you idiot. Believe is the faith. We don't believe in faith. What, what, what those people are talking about? What the, I, I don't know. Like, you know, this is Abdul uh, getting some a lot of camel urine. And he is speaking and trying to be smart. MashaAllah, brother. MashaAllah. May, may, Allah, may Allah put his uh, mercy upon you and give you all the virgin you deserve. Now, the Muslim trying to be a logical smart, if you believe in faith, doesn't mean that Jesus does not believe in submission. What does this have to do with this, Abdul? What does, first we don't believe in faith. We believe is our faith. <laughs> Secondly, we as a Christian believe that everything, everything Jesus did, Jesus the man, he did because God occupied his body, which means we don't worship the body of Jesus. The body of Jesus, a finger is a finger. A nose is a nose, an eye is an eye. We don't worship the eyes of Jesus and the finger of Jesus and the nose of Jesus. We worship God in that man. The Bible says that the word became a man. The word, not the man became God. So what we are following in Jesus is the word of God. And actually, this is what your God in the Quran, he said. And let me give you a lesson. You might learn and learn how to speak even and maybe your English will. And the funny English is my second language, Muslims, but they don't make sense when they speak. I don't know. Let us see. Let us see what the Quran says about Jesus. And then we will give a very clear proof that Muslims are very stupid, confused. I'm not using the word stupid to insult, by the way, but that's how they are. Let us see from the Quran what and who is Jesus. Let us read together, guys, and laugh at the, at, at the Muslims intelligent because each time they talk, they show us how we are right and how they are wrong. Behold the angels. By the way, it doesn't say they are, uh, you know, uh, anyway, because in one verse in the Quran it says angels, the other verse says angels, no problem. O Mary, Allah gives thee the glad tidings of a word from him. So what is Jesus? He is a word from him. Okay, just wait. Uh, I have a problem in here. This word became a man. His name is Christ Jesus. Wait a second. Are you saying to me that you Muslims believe that Jesus is a word and he became a man? Well, this is what the Christian says. So if if you Muslims, if we ask you why when you want to hold the Quran, you have to be clean, you have to wash yourself, you have to do ablution, you say because this is the holy word of God. Uh -huh. Okay, Jesus, if you want to touch him, you have to wash Muslims because he is the holy word of God. 
that holy word of God became a man. Do you have a problem with the word of God? Are you saying the word of God is not holy? Your God himself agree and admit in his book that Jesus is the word who became a man, not a man who became a word. The word of God was with who, Muslims? If we ask the Muslims, the word of God was where? They will say was with God. Okay, who is with God? Name for me one man is with God. They will say nobody. No, 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 there is Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. He was with God before he came down to the earth. Then he became a man when he came down to the earth. And when he came back to, to heaven, according to Muslims, he's still there. So he is the only man in heaven. Before he became a man, was in heaven. And after he became a man, is still in heaven. Can you explain to me that? Why Jesus is the only one between all mankind? Muhammad is in the grave and the worm ate him. Actually, the hadith says that his belly became like a balloon and his fingers became blue because the Muslim did not bury him for three days, waiting for him to come from the grave, the same as Jesus. Even before they bury him, they thought he's going to come to life again like Jesus, but he did not because simply is fake. So look in here. You are telling me that Jesus is the word of God who became a man. And then you say that, uh, you know, you, the, the description of Jesus doesn't fit. What fit with what? Fit with what? Even your Quran describe him as holy. So until now, we have two things about Jesus we learn from the Quran. That he is a word of God, was with God, right? Came down from heaven. Then he became a man. His name is Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. All right? So he have a name before he was born. He have a name before he was born, which means even the name was exist before the birth of Jesus. And this is agree with the Bible. Jesus said before Abraham, I am. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. And Allah himself, he stole that from Jesus. He said, I am the first and the last. See in the word of Jesus, the son of Mary. Look in this. And here it says that he is, is going to heed an honor in this world and hereafter. But your God in the Quran says that Muhammad is a sinner. And Allah is going to forgive Muhammad for the past sin and the coming sin. How come Jesus is the only one is without sin? He is the word of God and he is the Christ who is coming from heaven, became a man in this earth. And let me show you something. It's a more really scary in the Quran, which destroy all the religion of Islam. Chapter 4, verse 171, the Muslim translation again. Let us read and enjoy this disaster in the Muslim faith. And here is supposed to the verse trying to convince us that Jesus is just a messenger of God. Well, we, uh, you know what? Uh, I have no problem with Jesus to be messenger of God because simply he is the only one. He was the messenger and the message for his God. He is a messenger of himself because he is the one. He, this is his own words. Now let us see that this is his own words. And let us see that he is the messenger and he is the God in the same time. Here we go. This is the Quran saying the following, and I want you please to focus with me. If you are a Muslim, take some drugs, maybe you can wake up. Uh, uh, now, now uh, Muslim saying in the Quran uh, that uh, you Christian don't exaggerate in your religion. And uh, Jesus was just a messenger. And by the way, the, the, what, what, between the two brackets in here is not exist in the Quran. It says in the Quran, Jesus was a messenger. There is no more than, this is between two brackets, is false, not exist. So, Jesus was a messenger huh, of Allah and his word. So, Jesus is what? Is a messenger. What the messenger is? Is a man. <clears throat> and he is a word in the same time. Which he bestowed in Mary. And spirit. And a spirit proceeding from him. From him who? Him who? From Allah. Proceeding, do you see the ing? So Jesus is the only one, he have three things in one. He is a man, he is the word of God, and he is the spirit of God. Because how you can tell me Jesus is a proceeding from, uh, from uh, Allah? Is Adam proceeding from Allah? No, I challenge you to find me where it says that. The only one in the Quran, he is a proceeding, a spirit proceeding from him, which means it's always, this spirit is the spirit of God. So Jesus, the spirit of God, Jesus the man, Jesus the word, three in one. The word, which is the message, which is the talking, which is the authority, which is the power. The spirit is God himself. 
in that man which is Jesus. And this is in your Quran. So you Muslims, when you say that Jesus cannot be God and this is the description, and you know, when we speak about submission, by the way, he was talking about submission, just to show you how funny he is, the, the, the spirit and the word of God is the one is controlling the body of the man. This is how the body of the man is submitted to the Lord. Because that body is under the control of who? Of the one who occupy it. So what does this have to do with this? Except you prove to me again that Jesus must be God. We don't have more, st more time left. Follow with me with more videos and let us laugh at the, at the logic of Muslims. I will make another video just to answer some of his claims. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Muslims are funny and dummy. See you. Look, what if I told you there was something you were missing? What if I told you that Jesus doesn't really fit into your description? Uh, what, what is our description? What our description? You see how silly the Muslims are? Our description that Jesus is holy. And let me show you that you as a Muslim by nature is an idiot because the follower of a child molester, the follower of the one who's been accused of stealing underwears, the one who accused of being spying at his own uncle daughters when they are doing their pee, -pee they cannot be better. Let me show you. What is the description of Jesus doesn't fit with our description? What is that? Jesus being holy? Let me show it to you in the Quran. Chapter 19, verse number 19. This is your Muslim translation, not mine. Jesus is the holy son. Oh, oh, just wait, just wait. I thought your description and our description is different, but suddenly we found that Jesus is a holy son, and I want to ask you, he's a holy son of who? Who, 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 who? Can you tell me, Abdul, how Jesus doesn't fit with the description of God? At the same time, in the Quran, you mentioned to me that he is holy. Is your prophet is holy? Absolutely not. The Quran says he's a big time sinner. Let me show you. Chapter 40, verse number 55. Chapter 47, verse number 19. Chapter 48, verse number 2, which is a disaster. Let us see what this chapter is saying. And we will see the disaster we are talking about. An open license for Muhammad not to be a prophet but to be a sinner in the future and in the past. Read with me, Abdul. This is your God, not me speaking. Uh, then that Allah may forgive to thee. And look how stupid the Quran is. Allah may forgive to thee. Like, is that sure or not? Like, do Allah knew the future? And look, in the same time, he speak about that may Allah forgive to thee the sin which in the past which is, in, is to come. So Allah is not sure if he is going to forgive. Isn't the one is talking is Allah? And why Allah is speaking always about himself in a third party? That Allah may forgive, may forgive. Like, it's not sure. You know, what is that? Is that a promise of forgiveness or maybe? You see, it's supposedly, supposedly, this is his, his, his and may perfect his favor upon thee. What, 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 me? What me? It's very clear that this somebody is making a verse, making it as, you know, but he forgot when he is making the verse that he should speak as if he is Allah. Because this is God be God talking. What do you mean? Allah, he, by the way, the Quran is full of perhaps. Allah is saying perhaps, maybe, and here we go again. May Allah forgive to Muhammad his past sin and his coming sin. What does that mean? Simply because your God Allah is not God and the one is making the Quran is not God It's somebody else. He is making his own scriptures Manuscript giving it to you and he is saying you don't worry about Muhammad sin. He is filthy. Yes, he is dirty Yes, he is ugly. Yes, but Allah will forgive his past sin and his coming sin and maybe he will forgive What what's wrong with this religion An open license for past sin and coming sin and by the way your prophet He became a prophet still he's doing sin. Why? Oh, because he was a good man but you Muslims, you say to us that the one who do sin, he should not be, a, he cannot be really a good follower of Allah. But you're a prophet given a license from his God to do sin in the past and to do sin in the future without being repentant to Allah. And you know what? How you can repent for coming future sin? Because if you are really a person who mean that you don't want to do sin, then you do not seek license for sin in the future. And your God, Allah, given a license for sin in the future, which means Muhammad, he is allowed to do sin. It's okay. No problem with Allah. So what all Islam is about? And why Adam was out of heaven if sin is okay? Why Allah did not give a sin license to Adam and he gave sin license to him in the future too and he stay in heaven? What a stupid, funny religion. Let us continue.